everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the StockSwoosh.com and I'm here today to review the QQQs. The reason that I thought it was a good idea to review the QQQs today is because the market did actually have a bearish gap down on Friday. Would I have shorted this? No. If you shorted the market on Friday, did you make any money? Yeah, a little bit, a smidgen. Not really anything of any significance really went nowhere. Why? This is not a good bearish gap to short. High of the market up here was 109.30, low was 108.60. It's not even a buck, okay? And, and this is assuming you would even short the high, which why would you have done that, okay? I know that a lot of people are looking at this market and they are thinking and predicting and assuming and guessing and believing that the market is not going to go higher and they are believing that the market is lower. However, it is not. The market is going to continue higher, is going to get up over this area and over this high and go higher. It's more clear to me, well, it's clear on both charts, the QQQs and the SPY, but it's, it's really, actually no, there's different reasons for why I'm saying this, but both the Qs and the SPYs are look higher. Different reasons why though, because they're different charts. Why? Because the QQQs actually have not made an all-time new high yet, whereas the SPY has. So they've been lagging from the SPY market, if you look at actually the way everything's rallied for the last few years, since the rally back up and began. But the high over here is like 120-something that happened back more than 10 years ago, 15 years ago. My prediction for the end of the calendar year 2015 is that we still get up over this number and we still get up over this level. And at this point, the last high we had in the queues was 111.16, okay? And so for us to get up to 120 would be a 10 point jump. I think we go further than that. I'm gonna say 120, 125, 130, 135. The dream target really for the QQQs this year is 150, and I'm not saying it gets there by the end of the calendar year at all. I'm saying that would be the dream target if it would. I, I really think 135 even. One, 135, 120, 125, 135 really, let's say, for the dream target this year for, for the QQQs. And I was really thinking 150, 175 when I first saw the market was higher this calendar year last October of 2014. But we really have been sideways now for mostly the spring, March, April, May, and June. And this again is another reason why many people are saying, gosh, you know, we're having trouble going higher. We really are not doing it. We haven't made the move higher and therefore we're lower. We made a series of lower highs and lower lows. We can't get up over it. We're struggling. We've had these gap downs. We've had many, many red days in the last six weeks or two months even of trading. And I know what people are saying and they're even looking at the entire year and they're saying, well, from where we opened this year, let's just see the open of the year. Oh, where is this I started here? Here. Uh, from where we opened on the year was 103.76. We're still positive on the year, okay? But not by a lot of as far as the entire overall gain. It doesn't matter. We're still holding. We're still strong. We still have made a gain this year within that six-month period. But really, ever since March, March, April, May, and June, a lot of people are looking at this market as bearish. I'm not. In fact, I'm still looking at it as bullish. Some people would say sideways or chopping. But to be honest with you, we're not sideways. We're actually higher. We are actually bullish. We are holding the bullish trend. We are higher. We are bullish. We are not sideways, and we're not bearish. So if someone asks me what's the trend right now of the overall market and what it has been this entire year, bullish. That's the answer I'd say, 100% conviction, and that's it. Now, in reference to what the market's going to do, I'm still saying higher. Higher yet even this calendar year, and not only that, it's going to blow. What does that mean? It means when the market does make the move, it's going to be so unexpected. And this I did predict, actually, in October 2014 and December when I sent the email out to everyone on my list, I said, be prepared for a volatile market in the year of 2015, which means there will be days when the market is red and there will be days when the market is green and there will be volatility in the market of 2015 like we've never seen. And this kind of has already started because we've seen sell-off days in here, but yet it hasn't gone anywhere to the downside. And we haven't seen really the big, big, big green days that everyone 
would have thought we would have seen if we were going to be higher to the upside. And yet, I'm telling you, I see signs of strength all over this market. I know what weakness looks like and it isn't in this market. I know the market's higher from what I know based on gaps. And again, it's because of my gap analysis and I'm able to predict what somebody's going to do in the future. I look at the gaps in the QQQs and I determine from those gaps if they are golden gaps or rate 20 points or more per my 26 point rating system to determine if the bullish or bearish gaps are going to follow through. That's how I know. That is how I know to predict the move that the market is in fact higher. Okay. So given that we're in June, it's mid June. Really, it's almost like basically exactly half the year is over. Almost. And so given that, I'm saying we're well, still going to blow. We are still going to blow. So really, I'm going to say 135. 135 by the end of the year. 130, 135. I think 150 is a stretch now. Still could be a dream target for the market this year, but I really think dream targets for the QQQs this year is 130, 135. We will get up on over 130 this year. That much I know. Okay. So there you have it. Many people believe the market isn't going to make another high, and many people are even thinking really now that it's definitely lower, but it's not. In fact, not only is it not lower, we will not even go anywhere near this area here again. Like, we're not even going to go anywhere near it. That's how strong we are. That's how strong we are. Okay. So. And we won't even touch this. And many people think we will touch that and break that and more. So it's all about my gap analysis and I'm able to predict these things. If you go back and look at how I've been predicting the market for the last several years, I've been correct. And I will continue to just look at everything and double, triple check myself and what I know. Again, it's based on my gap analysis. That's how I'm able to do it. That's how I'm able to see these things. And that's why learning my class and taking my golden gap rating system is so powerful. It is challenging to predict what things are going to do in the longer term. It is much less easier to, what, to predict what somebody's going to do in a short term. In other words, it's easier to predict what somebody's going to do in a one-minute chart rather than even an hourly chart or a day chart or a monthly chart, an annual chart. It is, it is easier to predict something in the short, short, short term than it is in the long term. And that's what I find so hilarious about the fact that many people think that day trading is so hard and they, and, and they want to do swing trades instead of day trading. It's easier to predict whether somebody's going to move and make a fast move of the day in a day trade and you're less at risk than if you are in longer term trades. It's harder to predict what somebody's going to do longer term because you, you can't be, predict the timing of it exactly when it goes to where it's going to go. And that's why these numbers have changed here given the fact that it's taken us months now to even continue to get going. And I don't know when we get going again. I really am surprised that we haven't gotten going over the high yet. I thought it would be April, May. Now here it is June. I don't know if it'll be June, July, or August till we get up over the high again. I, I don't know the timing. I know it's coming up. That's all that I can tell you. It's coming up. It could happen any second, any day. Any day we could do it. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information or if you want to learn how to trade and if you want to take my Golden Gap class, the next class is June 20th and 21st. That's next weekend. It is an incredible class. It teaches you how to predict what stocks and the market are going to do before they do it by reading and analyzing gaps. And quite frankly, that's the only way to predict what something's going to do. All this other stuff, looking at pivots and determining trends with that, or moving averages or higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows, none of that stuff works with any level of consistency. That's how many people are going to get tripped up here in the market because I'm telling you, this is the last thing I'm going to say today, the market, when it makes the move, is going to blow. And I did predict that last year. I did say it would be one of those years where the market would blow higher. I, I, I didn't see when exactly. Again, the timing of that would be. But I knew when I saw it that it would be that the market would make an unprecedented move. That's exactly what I said in the email. I have to go back and read it, the email I sent to everyone on my list. That I said the market would make an unprecedented move. At that time, in my mind, hold on, I'm just going to write this down. In, in my mind, the unprecedented move that the market would make, I thought, was based on the number. It still is going to be as far as the number the market is going to hit as far as a target. But really, what's going to end up being unprecedented about this year of 2015 is the percentage of the jump of the time that it's going to make it and the time that it's going to do it. Does that make sense? i got to write this down so I don't forget this. 
So when I saw what I saw, when I made the market prediction I did in October of 2014, and then in December of 2014, I sent the email, what I saw would happen in the US stock market in 2015 that would, number one, it would be bullish the entire year, unless there was a world calamity, which there hasn't been so far. That, of course, that could always happen. I also predicted the market would make an unprecedented move. At that time, when I did, I thought in my mind it would be the target. It, it is going to still be the target because it's going to be a big target that we're going to hit. But really, the unprecedentedness of what is going to happen is going to end up being the percentage of the move of the jump that we make at the time that we're going to do it. In other words, we're going to make such a massive move like a blowout in a short period of time that is what will be the unprecedented part about it. In fact, I'm just going to look here at something and see if it's, anything has ever happened like this, if I can find it. Let me just look at something here. I'm going to go all the way back. I just want to see if we've ever done something like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, I can see it. I just want to... I just, I don't know if we've ever done something like I'm seeing in my mind, I'm seeing it. Let me just look here. <clears throat> like I can see in my mind what it's going to look like. I just want to see if we've ever done something like this. It would have been around this time if we had, but I'm not sure if we even did here. Let me just look. We're, we're never going to have seen anything like what we're going to do. That, that's, this is what's so amazing about what I can see this stuff. Ay, 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 ay. No, there's, we never, we're, we're going to do something like we've never done before. This is, I don't even know if I can explain it right. Well, I just did. But <clears throat> the way I'm seeing this, like if I would draw, I should just draw it. I should just draw it on a piece of paper, but I'd have to scan it and show everybody what, the gist of what I'm trying to say, I just wanted to look at that. I'm sorry, I just had to look at that for a second. The move that the market's going to make, I'm saying it's going to blow, but the move is going to be so aggressive, it's almost going to look vertical. That's the best way I can describe it. I was trying to find anything the market's ever done, even back when it had made all-time highs back in 2000. I was trying to see if there was anything that we've had, any section or piece of time in there that I could even say, yeah, this is what I'm saying it's going to be like this, it's going to do like this. I don't, I don't see it at all, and I way past the time of that. And even, even in this recovery in here, it didn't do that. So it's that's part of what is going to happen that is going to be unprecedented. Okay, so there, I just, I'm predicting it now. The move that the market's going to make, the, the aggressiveness of the move of it is almost going to look like vertical where if you don't, if you don't, if you're not in it, you will completely miss it. You will, if you're not in it, if you're not in the market long, you will completely miss it. Like there will be no entry. You know how everybody likes to buy in pullbacks? There will not be any pullback. The, the move, it, I'm not saying it's gonna go right now and go vertical and never look back and go straight up over 130, but I'm saying that it, I'm saying that it could. Basically, I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you that it could. Whenever it does it, it's gonna blow and it could because I'm seeing that the move that it's going to make, the way that it's gonna shape itself, and this is all just, it's just because I'm, I'm so good at reading money. I'm just so good at reading money. And I'm telling you what it's going to do. It's going to make a move that is so aggressively higher that's going to happen so quick, so fast, so unexpected, it's going to blow. And the percentage of the move that it makes in the time that it moves it, that it makes it, will be unprecedented. 
That is what is going to happen this year. Okay. Sean's saying, with 100% conviction and no chance of failure, the market in the QQQs will make a new high this year. I'm giving a dream target of up over 130, 135-ish, but over 130 for sure before the end of the calendar year. And I can even put out their dream target 150 because I have no idea really the percentage of the blow that we're going to make. It's going to be big. It's going to be something in a format and a fashion here that I can't even find that's ever happened. And I really saw that last year. I really saw that last year, although I thought it would just be the way that we'd rally all year. But here it is, it's June, and we haven't done it really yet at all this year. Even though we have, and what I'm reading that we're, we have and we're going to, we really haven't, it's setting up to do it though. And, and, and that's what's so amazing. And that's what's so amazing, I'm just gonna say one last thing. The market isn't doing anything wrong. It's not doing anything bearish. The market is still higher. How do I know this? Because I know how to recap. So if you wanna learn how to trade from me, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. Good luck.